this is Maggie Reese. And I'm John McManamy. And we're coming to you from outside the shack again today. Well, why can't we be inside the shack, Maggie? Well, today in San Diego, we don't have much sun, sun, sunshine. It's coming this weekend, and we're all going to die of the heat because it's going to be 88, and that's way too much for us. Right. But today it's like 65, and we got to have some light, so we're outside. Okay, we're, we're bringers of light. <laughs> we're the bringers of light. That's right. And, and we're the enlightened, right? We're, we're the enlightened <laughs> people that are going to enlighten you. So, exactly, because we want you all to be experts. Here. <laughs> That's right, right. We don't want to like keep this awesome knowledge for ourselves. We want to help you guys out there. So. Okay, and we want you guys to help us out too. So, you know, if you got any comments, um, yes. YouTube or to email us, we'll flash all that information. Because um, this, sure. this is, we're all in the same boat together. Yeah, totally. We're all on the journey together to help each other. Because yeah. otherwise, how are we going to get through this? Yeah, and, and, I want, <laughs> and I want to tap into your wisdom today, Maggie. All right, tap in. <laughs> so what we have is our little Maggie, is, is this a jar or a vase? This is like some cute thing that one of my friends gave me, and I was like, oh, I like the color. <laughs> okay, so, so this is a Maggie cute thing, and it's got some, it's got some special Maggie questions in yes. it where we're going to access... Maggie's knowledge here. I know, this brain. This okay, orb. so I'm, I am just going to shake this up. Okay, okay, do it, do it. And I'll just randomly pick one off the top. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was winning a prize right now. Okay, so what helps you most when you feel out of control? This is an awesome question because, I mean, so many times when I get out of control, I do <laughs> do the wrong things, right? I like pop off at whoever's closest. Oh, to we me. never do the right things when we're out of control. No, like it happened to me last week at LA Fitness. I was already aggravated at my friend, yep. and we're on. <laughs> we're like those moms in the movies, right? We're all on those dumb stair steppers oh, going Stepford away. Oh, Stepford wife. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're like the Stepford wives, and I. And there was a yoga class starting, and I'm like, I just need to get to the yoga class because I'm frustrated with this friend of mine. But I couldn't, and instead of, I should have, what I should have done is just walk to the yoga class, right? Right. And I got off the thing, and yes, I was walking, but I turned around and popped off at her. So I didn't do the right thing there when I was frustrated, right? Right. I should have just walked into the yoga class, and then I would have been in a safe zone. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I said the uh at to her right in front of all these other moms. Like, I just sometimes get out of control. Oh, and then, oh, oh, and then oh, 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 I, I love the irony of this. I know. You know because you're, you're going to be enlightened in your yoga class, you know, people, know. namas, uh, however that's pronounced. I'm so close. And it's like, I'm more enlightened than you. I know. It was, <laughs> it was so out of control. Here I went from barking at my friend and then into the yoga class and if I just would have stayed quiet I would have made it into the chill out class and then I would have been good right right but then I had to apologize later and it was crappy of what I said you know it was my fault I'm like dang it but um if if I sometimes if I am on the best thing I can do is walk away from when I get upset when that that trigger happens and and uh, I just right. need I just need to walk away even if I'm being kind of mean as I walk away just don't say anything because my mouth is the worst thing for yeah. me like I say some really bad stuff <laughs> I, I, I kind of have a theory you know? okay. What's your theory? Uh, well it, it has nothing to do with science but okay. I, I feel like there's this one inch of us yes that can maintain control when the other 17 billion zillion inches of us are out of control. Yes. And somehow we've got to find where that one inch overrides yes. all the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that can makes can sense. you relate to that? Oh, I, I, I do. And, I, and I, I had a friend tell me, Maggie, you're so hard on yourself. You shouldn't, you know, sometimes you are going to pop off and that's just life. And yeah. that kind of brought me in, going, you know what? Okay, I was, I was really trying, but right. it, it did slip out. But um, uh, yeah, there, like you said, there's that one inch that that you've got, and you yeah. just have to. Okay, and then and then you have to make adjustments. Yeah, you have to make adjustments, and, and it's kind of like spilling paint on the floor. <laughs> you know, it happens in a flash. Yeah. But now you got to 
spend a lot of time and effort mm -hmm. cleaning up the paint. Cleaning up the mess. But I mean, I did go to the yoga class. So you did go? <laughs> <laughs> so you did become enlightened in the end. You, so you did. And, and yoga literally means yoke. You, you, yes. Yes. You, you are in control. Oh, I was just, I'm like, this is so lame. I'm now I'm sitting there going, um, you know? <laughs> and my little exercise pants are like, good one, Mac. <laughs> but after that hour, I came out and I was like, so settled again. Right. So, um, but, but I would say the number one coping skill when I, when, when there's that anger is if I can just walk away and that's even with my daughter, when she sets me off, Instead of yelling at her, right? I'm really good at walking away because I know it will be walking away. damage. Yes, especially yes. on my child. You know, she's she's nine right now. I don't want yeah, that's her like to paint this. you can't clean. No, up. no. So right. I don't want her remembering this yelling mother. You know, that's right. out of control. Right. So with her, I really go overboard on walking away and then coming back. Okay, Allie, let's figure this out. Is there anything you can do beforehand to anticipate these situations? Oh, I could have totally avoided that entire LA Fitness thing. Right. Because there was there was way too many things leading up that I should have just said from the beginning, Allie can't go to SeaWorld, okay? Right. But I was trying to please everyone. And when yes. you try to please everyone, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. And I knew there was a time frame thing where if she didn't get home in time, then Matt would be set off and they wouldn't be able to get to the softball picture and they wouldn't, the practice would be messed up. And every, there's, there was a trigger of events that day. Oh, and I could have avoided the entire situation if I would have said, you know, today's just, there's too much going on, which you guys can do that with, if there's too many things happening, you could just, take half of it away or just all together say, you know what, today's not a good day, we're gonna cancel. And, and right. it's gonna be okay. And I could have avoided all of that stress and the mess with just, I mean, and I know it sounds dumb, like the SeaWorld thing and all that, but to me that was a big thing. No, like no, the this, timing, is, this is really it was, important. It was huge, right? Like I knew yeah. if Allie was gonna get home late, then Matt would get mad, then that sets me off, then Allie's mad, and there's this the whole, whole cascade, a yeah. cascade of like a waterfall coming down and everything explodes. Yeah, and I've had and to- And it did. And, I and it did. It did. And I've had to learn this. Yes. It's, um, I'm not gonna get everything done in the day that I want to get done. Yes. And I have to be okay with that. Yeah. If I try to set up too many things, um, somewhere in the chain of events, I'm going to get overstressed yes. and I'm not going to react too well. So if I've got a meeting scheduled where I have to get a whole bunch of other things done mm -hmm. first, um, I'm going to show up at that meeting in very bad shape yeah. and yeah. the meeting is not going to go well. No, so, no. It's, you have to so, clear some stuff out so for the one thing. So it's like, okay, you know, maybe I don't... Um, make my bed or maybe yeah. I don't work on my taxes today or whatever. Right. whatever. I mean, it just, you yeah. just have to. And um, for each of us, it's different triggers that it's different lead triggers. Yeah. to those things. And for me, I wish this wasn't for me, but it's like time stuff when things, when, when we need to be on time somewhere and this, you know, I don't know what it is about time, but it sets off anxiety and the anxiety sets off mass stress and the mass stress sets off explosion. Like I'm you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's why I'm yelling just because I have to show you, like, I can go from totally here to just boom, I'm, I'm done. Well, one time, yeah, uh, yeah, I was on the board of um, a local mental health group, mm -hmm. okay? So I, I would make it a point to show up about 45 minutes early so I can settle in from my drive and just chill. Right. Okay, now one time I made a wrong turn and I was in the black hole of Mission Valley, which is... <laughs> Which, if you're not from San Diego, this is an awful place to be lost. Yes, it is. It's horrible. So instead of showing up to the board meeting, you know, 45 minutes early, I was 15 minutes late. And you're stressed. I'm yeah. stressed, and I'm walking in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I am. You're not, on overload. I am not looking like a cool, calm, collected, you know, board vice president. <laughs> you're looking like the crazy guy. Now. I am looking out like the crazy guy. Yes. Yeah. So, so this is where we have to leave plenty yes. of time for things. Oh yeah. Uh, 
because and when you act like that crazy person it leaves lasting effects because there were like at that stupid la fitness thing there was other moms all right there and they saw me bark and now that that stays with them i can't take back that stuff Just paint on the floor you know what i mean yeah. it's the paint on the floor and i don't have enough stuff to clean it up so <laughs> right cheers to that high cheers. five high five okay <laughs> well you guys um and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and um i'll promote your book here. Okay, okay we'll promote each other's books yeah and this one's uh not just up and down with john McManamy's book and, and this is maggie and it has all her great wisdom derived from um um, when she had a bipolar manic episode at age 19 yeah. and her next book okay this is runaway mind her next one's gonna be runaway mom and her adventures as a runaway mom yes and and John's got all kinds of interesting details about bipolar in this book and information and other stories from other authors as well uh, including yours truly Maggie. yes including yes. me I'm in <laughs> yeah, there the most awesome. <laughs> gotta check it out okay <laughs> thank you guys and have a wonderful day and get some lavender lavender <laughs> Woo. all right <laughs>